What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're all anticipating the AMD Ryzen Z2 Extreme chips from AMD this year. And what handheld is it gonna pop up in first? Is it gonna be the Xbox Asus partnership handheld, which was teased recently and was leaked from Xbox. So that could be within a couple of months or will it be something else? But we've got a rumor article here over on video cards that kind of talks about a new possibly leaked Ryzen AI Z2 Extreme that could be added in, or maybe this just is the SKU. But anyways, we'll take a quick look at this and talk a little bit about what this is uh, looking like, because I know I'm really anticipating these Z2 Extreme devices and what these are actually going to look like when they land from AMD. So let's take a look. Now, remember, take this with a grain of salt. This article is based off of a rumor and may or may not come to fruition, but there certainly could be a lot of truth behind the whole AI thing coming to the Z2 Extreme chip. So let's go ahead and take a look at the article here and see what they're saying about it. So AMD reportedly planning the Ryzen AI Z2 Extreme APU for gaming handhelds. Uh, AMD set to add AI into Z2 Extreme, something artificial uh, coming to handhelds. So remember the MSI Claw, this gaming handheld powered by the Intel Core Ultra 200V series has something that any AMD handheld does not, which is AI in its name. And I have the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus here on the channel. If you've been watching me at all, I tested a good bit here. I'm really happy with its performance in game so far. A lot of the times it beats my Z1 Extreme devices. And yeah, it's been a really solid device. I still really like using it a lot here. So, but do I care about the AI stuff so far? No, but um, I could see a future where, you know, a lot more games and apps and things are just leveraging AI features, even if it's in the background and that those um, those AI cores could maybe make a difference. But anyways, we'll take a look uh, farther here. MSI's marketing seems to explain this extra feature by listing support for the Copilot Plus PC program. As a reminder, Copilot Plus PC features were officially supported and enabled on all Lunar Lake and Strix Point based systems starting this week. Uh, for gaming, there's hardly any reason to look at the AI moniker. These features, at least for now, are for the Windows part of the system, which is perhaps a good thing if you're using the handheld for both gaming and something more productive. After all, it is a powerful mobile PC. And that's for now, but we did just get an announcement recently from Microsoft that they are kind of working on this co-pilot for games feature where they want to bring AI into Xbox games where you can like ask it for help if you're stuck and like different things like that. So there is going to be a crossover coming soon enough, uh, whether it's a feature you want or want to use or not, that's definitely on the way. So it may appear that AMD is not willing to leave AI exclusively to Intel gaming handhelds. Reportedly, AMD is set to launch a new Ryzen AI Z2 Extreme Edition, which as the name suggests, would have AI acceleration. Worth adding that AMD has already announced three Ryzen Z2 chips based on Rembrandt, Hawkpoint, and Strixpoint. Apparently, AMD is also adding a Ryzen Z2A, not AI, uh, which may also focus on the NPU part. Both Hawkpoint and Strixpoint normally have NPU on their chips. They are just disabled on the gaming handhelds. Yeah, so this is also, as far as I know, the Z2 Extreme is supposed to be kind of largely based off of the AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370, or at least the 890M GPU part of that and the AI processors and stuff. So I think it wouldn't be that far-fetched or much of a stretch to assume that, you know, with AI coming to market so heavily, regardless of what people want to use it for, if they want to use it at all, um, it is just going to be coming out all over the place. AI is really just showing up everywhere, and I don't think AMD would is going to sit out and it's going to be very easy just to enable those cores and have them running now i'm assuming it will change things like battery life and efficiency of the device and power needed to run those chips that's why they tend to turn those off and cut things down because when it comes to a gaming handheld you really want to stretch that that power that tdp the power draw your battery life as much as you can and get as much performance as you can so when you have more cores you're dealing with and that type of thing you really want to get things efficient if you're going to be able to run all that at the same time and i know they are already using some hx370 and a couple of handhelds out there and it seems to be working pretty well but i think they were looking to kind of cut the z2 extreme down to something that would be a little bit more efficient and gaming oriented but now we have so many things coming to gaming that are like ai incorporated or this co-pilot for games or whatever the case 
or even productivity apps that maybe even in the background where we don't notice or just using AI features. Uh, so it would make sense that maybe even if it was kind of a, a later thought that they would bring an AI version of the Z2 Extreme over, just the way I would kind of think of it there. Uh, is this a, another skew like AI Z2 Extreme plus we still get a regular Z2 Extreme with no AI with two different price points? Like, I'm not sure how they're going to do that yet, but it'll be interesting to see how that works out. And again, remember, this is more of a rumor than anything. So take all this with a grain of salt. But when I saw this article on here, I kind of wanted to go over it and talk about it a little bit because AI is just literally spreading to everything. But I also see companies starting to bring more AI features that would require you or at least run better if you had these AI cores. So kind of makes sense that this would happen. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.